I see the sovereign wealth fund as a hybrid of somewhat of an investment banker slash development banker kind of an arrangement. Um, with regards to the legal entity, I know there are talks about the Bank of Ghana being the operational manager. Um, it is my view that the fund should be set up as a separate legal corporate uh, entity. That was Ramesh Persaud. He is the chief executive officer of IPED, but was speaking as a private sector executive who specializes in finance. Persaud said it must be made clear who are the owners of the fund. The owners of the fund is the people of Ghana, and they are represented by members of the National Assembly. The fund is owned by the people of Ghana and should be governed by their elected representative in the National Assembly, who in my view should perform the duties of a shareholder at an annual general meeting. He made it clear that his proposed model is for the National Assembly to act as the shareholder and not the executive only at AGMs. In terms of governance, Bissot said that the National Assembly should appoint a board of directors which should be piloted by the Finance Minister and approved at Parliament. It is possible to achieve that. Now, it is very difficult to take away the hint of politics in many things that we do, but we can insulate ourselves from it to some extent. So I'm saying here that if we continue to say that the Sovereign Wealth Fund is a separate legal entity, um, separate corporate entity with a board of directors, the board can consist of seven to nine individuals. These persons would be drawn from various sections in society to avoid partisanship. In addition to that, he suggested having a senior counsel on the board of directors as well. My proposal here is that you have a head of a publicly listed company who is accountable to public shareholders and all of that. Um, we'll have some fiduciary responsibility and understanding how to deal with that. Somebody who probably runs a bank or something of that. Could be the mechanism of how to appoint that person, I'm not too clear how to do that. Uh, but maybe the security, councils, the security council could be involved in selecting such a person. The Green Paper and the Natural Resources Fund, or Sovereign Wealth Fund, which will deal with the question of management of anticipated oil revenue started in 2020, was laid in the National Assembly. Opposition leader Barrett Jackley recently said he still did not agree with the model being proposed for the Natural Resources Fund, which could cater for a representative from the opposition. Government has said that legislation in relation to the fund could be laid in Parliament before the end of the year, as indicated in Budget 2018. It said that the proposed legislation addresses two main issues, stability of the economy and saving for future generations. Advice on this fund is being sought from the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank and the Commonwealth Secretariat. Samuel Sugnandan, The Evening News.